Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and usually I'm talking about a lot of technology stuff on my videos, but I also like fixing things. So today I'm actually going to give a quick how to on how to repair and replace a side view mirror on a 2013 Hyundai Elantra. So uh, a few months ago I was backing out of a garage and I managed to clip the uh, rear view mirror. It cracked it. Uh, it's it sort of made it a little unstable so I figured I'm gonna try and figure out how to get this fixed um, supposedly at the dealer you can do it for about 500 bucks but I'm kind of cheap so I decided to order a new mirror online and that cost about $60 and supposedly only takes about 15 minutes to do so I've already done this on the uh, passenger side and it worked great so I figured I'd do a video this time and show you how to do it so this is the replacement mirror. Make sure you get the right one for not only your vehicle's make, model, trim line, etc., but also their different types. Uh, some of them have a turn indicator built in. Mine's sort of the low end one, so it's just a, a heated mirror that's electronically controlled. But there are a lot of different uh, types online, so you can shop around, get the best deal. Um, also, some of the paint is a little bit different depending on your model. Uh, this one only comes in black, but luckily my car is black, so I don't have to worry about anything. So I'm going to walk through the steps of taking it apart now. So in terms of tools, for this install you really don't need that much. You need a uh, flathead screwdriver. I got a soft towel and I'll show you why um, you need that. Then you need the appropriate size sprocket. Um, I'm actually using a, a metric one here. I believe and um, there'll be details in the notes below sprocket wrench and you can have another type of wrench again I'm I don't have a ton of tools love to have some tools someday but this seemed to work with my install on the passenger side so we'll uh, show you how that works so the first thing you want to do is actually carefully pry off this panel here and this is the reason for having a cloth in your flathead you want to like very carefully wedge the screwdriver in there and carefully pop it off. So I'm just going to do this here very slowly. Helps having the door open. And I'm just sort of popping slowly here. And it's going to pop out hopefully as you work your way down. Okay like it's popped off you just carefully take it off and there you have it it's popped off so the next thing you want to do you just basically put that panel aside and what I did is uh, there's the a little electrical connector here and this controls the the mirror or if you have the version that has the blinker it also has that in there this just pretty much just pops right out and you want to put it to the side as much as possible now things get kind of interesting and this is the one place where uh, you could run into trouble. So there are three nuts here that you need to take off. If you can see this one is really down low and so you have to be extremely careful taking this one out because the nut could fall into your door panel here and then you'd have to take off the entire door panel and that's not something that you want to do you could these are just standard nuts you could buy one at um, a hardware store and replace it but you may have the one that dropped uh, rattling around in your door so I was able to do it on the passenger side it's it's a bit of a pain in the butt but you can do it so what I recommend doing first is carefully removing these two first and then you can sort of pull it out and very slowly undo it you can almost do it by hand as you're uh, unscrewing it some people have said okay you can shove a rag in there to to prevent it from dropping through um, I didn't do that on my last time, but you can do that if you want to. So let's start taking off the uh, nuts here and I'll show you how to take off the mirror. So I found that a actually a 10 millimeter sprocket is the best um, for this particular thing. So we're just gonna start loosening up these nuts here 
and all you got to do really with the sprocket is is start them by using the uh, the sprocket wrench and then you could pretty much do it by hand after that so uh, let's start with the first one so I'm unscrewing it and I may just fast forward through all this so you're not bored with me unscrewing a bunch of nuts here So I got those two off. Obviously one was a little bit tighter, but got it off. So the last one, like I said, is harder to get in. You can't really use a uh, sprocket wrench to get in there. So I just found this tool in, in my toolbox and I'm gonna just slowly, you know, put it in here and, and try to loosen it by hand. And then once I got it loose, I'm gonna just use my fingers to, to finish the job and hopefully not drop it into the door. All right, so managed to loosen it just with that little wrench, and then I'm just going to use my fingers to do the rest of the job and, and hopefully, as I said, not, not drop it down into the, the door panel. So you just got to do it slowly. And the other thing that helps once you already have those off is you can start pulling, pulling it out. Those are the only three things that, that actually hold the mirror into place so as you're unscrewing it by hand you can actually start pulling it out and then you can actually grab the nut a little bit easier and see as it gets close to the end here. I'm actually going to use two hands here I don't really care if the mirror falls off because I'm going to be recycling it anyway rather keep the nut from falling in and there you go got the nut out didn't drop it in and there's a little little plug on the back that holds it to part of the door you just carefully pop it out so you can have to snap it back in later I don't know if you can see that but it's just a little thing that pops into the side so there got it off that didn't take very long. Now we're going to put on the new mirror. So the new mirror pretty much should look identical. You could compare it. Make sure that you have this little adhesive foam around there to, to do a water seal around the side. But basically you're going to do the same thing you just did. Starting probably with that hardest screw to, to put in. You just sort of slide it in. And I would recommend hand tightening everything at first. Um, and it should all just pop in. You can pop that little thing I was talking about here. Just pop it right into the mirror. And then just make sure it fits. So there I have it on. And I'm going to just start hand tightening all the, the nuts and then tighten them all up in a, right after that. All right, so I hand tightened that hardest one in just so I could have it in place and the mirror wouldn't fall off. But then basically, just take the, the rest of the uh, screws here, make sure you, uh, or the rest of the nuts here, just make sure you push it tight to get that seal. And just hand tightening these for now then using the various wrenches to tighten them up. Again, push hard to make sure you get them nice and tight by hand. You don't really need to over tighten it. All right. If you over tighten it, you may run the risk of cracking something in there. So just go, go easy. Tight enough so it doesn't shake around, doesn't rattle and then you should be done. There it is, nice and tight. So all we gotta do is plug it back in and put the panel back on and we're done. Almost done, all you gotta do now is plug the power back into it. That should be easy enough, as long as you put it in the right way. Okay, so that's in. And then the last step is just snapping on this little thing here, making sure you put it in the right way. So 
All these should go into the pre-existing holes and it should be pretty easy to do. There, snapped in. So that's it. Uh, literally it only takes you a few minutes. Um, just be careful not to drop the, uh, the nut down in, inside there. And uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, how-to video that's not very techy, but uh, definitely can save you some money. Oh, one last thing, be sure to test your work. Almost forgot about that. So anyway, here we go. So it's fully motorized and working. Goes up and down without any problems. So you got a brand new mirror here. Hey, so hope you enjoyed this uh, fix it. Obviously it's not too technical. Uh, not dealing with technology other than a couple of wires. But uh, I do a lot of different types of videos and video reviews. Uh, technology reviews, that type of thing. Best place for my content to find it is at www.hightechdad.com. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Twitter, and I'm at High Tech Dad. And head over to my Facebook page and give me a like, and that's at facebook.com forward slash HTD blog. And give this uh, video a thumbs up if it helped you out.